Good afternoon, folks. We're going to review one of the most frustrating but important to understand concepts in geology and paleomagnetic dating. It never lines up perfectly. I saw many good questions about this with the morning show, where we were highlighting an article on how major oscillations match up with the changes in Earth's magnetic field. The comments correctly identified that the timelines weren't really matching up with the clean cycle or even with each other. So I'll go over those charts again here, but add question marks to show what I mean a bit better. It's not like there were four or five different excursions in the time frame. It's that the geologic dating is so screwy that it just doesn't add up when you put it all on one chart. Which one of these represents the correct timing of the excursion about 6,000 years ago, or are they all slightly off a bit? Whether you are looking at the dipole moment, the strength of the field, or the isotope production spikes, it's the same and it always has been. So what do we make of this, and how do we reconcile it? We start by going back to a bunch of previous paleo intensity stacks. These are all different from the ones in the paper from this morning, so what you should notice is that this has indeed always been the case. If we strictly go by the dating, we can generally say that there was a magnetic minimum of intensity, a mini geomagnetic excursion and magnetic pole shift in the middle of the Holocene, but was it 6,000 years ago, 8,000 years ago, 5,500 years ago? That's the rub, isn't it? There is only one actual answer. This is why it is important that at the end of 2022, it was officially declared to be an excursion with a best guess of 7,000 years ago, but with a thousand year error range, meaning somewhere between 6,000 and 8,000 years ago. The latest and most precise measurement came in 2023 from the Russian volcanic sample, declaring the excursion to be no younger than 5,500 to 6,000 years old. And folks, it's not just the China slash NOAA event that falls into this category of confusion. Here are the last eight events of the 6,000 year cycle. And on the right, we have the range of dating guesses in the scientific literature. Clearly, the science is a bit broken here, as might be expected with isotope dating. An interesting bit is found around the 30,000 years ago event, which is still not officially acknowledged as a mini excursion, but both Lake Mungo and Mono Lake have been pegged as close to it and often confused with one another. This is because of the clusters of signals at 24, 30, and 36,000 years ago. Even the Lachamp events were once thought to be just one, we now know it was a dip around 48,000 years ago, a fair lack of magnetic recovery afterwards, and then another dip at 42,000 years ago. The best dating of these produces that approximately 6,000 year cycle. Don't forget, the Heinrich climate cycle is 6,000 years, so is the solar superflare cycle. It's a solar, climate, and geomagnetic cycle of 6,000 years, and that's not a coincidence. This is why when we share relevant papers, it usually does not and should not be expected to line up perfectly. That's just where we are with the state of the science at this time. But we can take the whole picture to figure out the cycle, include the climate and solar cycles that match up, and realize that we are due again now. And what's the magnetic field doing? Exactly what we'd expect it to do if we're in the middle of a magnetic pole shift. Subscribe for daily updates and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe everyone.